An Ebola conference in Europe is being held at what some are calling a most dangerous moment. As the epidemic begins to subside, leaders from the three hardest hit African countries say they still need help. CCTV Sandra Gadman joins us live from Brussels. And Sandra, what are attendees saying about the Ebola epidemic? Are they are hoping to accomplish? What are they hoping to accomplish with this conference? Well, Elaine, I think the purpose of this conference was really to shed light on just how serious a threat Ebola still is, not just to the people of West Africa. About a hundred or so are still becoming infected by the virus every week in that region, but also the long-term effects on the economies of Sierra Leone, Guinea, and Liberia. Of course, they're the three worst affected countries whose leaders here in Brussels made an international plea for help to recover a lot of their lost infrastructure. We heard some strong words from Liberian leader Ellen Johnson Sirleaf. She spoke of the fight against the Ebola as a kind of war. And uh, she called for a so-called Marshall Plan to be agreed regionally, but also supported internationally through funding. Uh, this, of course, in the same way that uh, famously the U.S. supported Europe uh, with an economic recovery blueprint after World War II. So the themes today were very much about the urgent medical needs on the ground, but also the long-term bruising, so to speak, on the region. The World Bank already predicts a combined loss of around 12% of GDP for the West African region this year, so quite a worrying picture ahead. Elaine? Sandra, we've been hearing that the virus is slowing and there are less people becoming infected, so why are these countries still asking for more aid? Well, Elaine, I think the aim, uh, the immediate aim, is for the international donors who pledged already around five billion U.S. dollars uh, to fight this disease uh, to actually match their target because so far only around 2.4 billion U.S. dollars have been successfully channeled to these countries still fighting this virus. So this really is a final push to beat the disease once and for all. And earlier I spoke to uh, David Miliband, the head of the International Rescue Committee, uh, who was quite positive about the momentum these types of gatherings are driving in terms of aid. Let's take a listen. The test for all of us is to make sure that there's sufficient action coming out here, both at local level and at international level, uh, to make sure that we meet this dual challenge of beating back the disease to zero now and building the health systems of the future. Of course, this won't be the last conference of its kind. We'll see many familiar faces at an international monetary fund uh, event hosted in Washington next month. Back to you, Elaine. All right, CCTV Center Gatman, live for us in Brussels.